Hi guys, today we're going to do a little introduction on pivot tables. Uh, a lot of people who've been using Excel for a number of years haven't even heard of pivot tables and they're actually a really convenient and pretty easy to use tool that will summarize a whole bunch of scattered and stratified data into exactly what you need where you can drill down and get the information that's pertinent to whatever project you're working on. Okay, so here I've started us out per usual with a simple data set we could understand and use to build the basic skills and then as always with all the more advanced and intermediate Excel techniques they really become useful and really shine when you're using them with large data sets. Data sets where you know worksheets where you have hundreds if not thousands if not tens of thousands uh, of lines and rows of data okay so let's get right to it so the first thing we want to do when we create a pivot table is select the data that is related to what we want to do usually what you can do is just highlight the entire uh, data set or worksheet including the headers okay and by headers I mean the column headers here okay so I like to use highlight everything first and we can take everything and even things that we don't necessarily want or are interested in because later you'll see in the pivot table we can filter on things only on column headers that we're interested in okay so I go ahead and I highlight everything I go to insert I go to pivot table and I've already selected the table or range so that's already done and it's kind of uh, glowing over there and I usually put it in a new worksheet so these are the two things hit OK and it'll make a new worksheet and here on the right is where you get started okay we're not interested in the observation because that column was just the count of the number of uh, rows we had I just put there for clarity okay what we're interested in is, th is these three okay so sales are the actual data that we're interested in now let's say we want to see the sales for each color what we could do is we could take sales put it in the values area okay because it's a number usually the number is almost always gonna go in this values area okay and type I mean actually we're interested in color so color we can either take to the column labels and see what happens when I drop it in the column labels on the left you see it makes a row of different colors the four different colors we had and then under each one it summarized the sum of each of those colors now it doesn't look so nice as a column header maybe I pull it over to the row and it looks a lot more clear there we go okay so basically what this is it's saying that it went through the table and added up all the sales for black color and it was 287 some odd thousand. Now let's go back to our original data set and look what that actually means. Basically it went in and it took this black plus this black plus and that's it. It was just two blacks. And that, actually a third one right there. It added these three numbers 56,516 and 231,000. Okay? And actually makes sense 287 some odd thousand and then the same thing for each color okay and then it also gave us a grand total which is the total of this entire sales column okay now that's a very simple one now how about if you want to see it by color and further broken down by type and type here was either a b c or s i believe this column right here okay so going back to the pivot table if I click off by the way this right box disappears when I click on this area the field list on the right appears again okay so let's take type and let's also drop it in row labels and let's see how that looks so for black it's broken it down by the th all the labels that are black there's an black that's an A type, a black that's a B type, and a black that's an S type. And it breaks them down and it also gives us the total of the three. Okay? 
and then the same thing for each color okay so for brown there was a B and a C and the total was there is there and it gives us all these kind of little uh, functional uh, zoom in and zoom out break in and break out options here where we can uh, make it more and less granular or more or less complicated okay but also I encourage you as you're working with pivot tables to play around by moving things around so let's throw type into the, the uh, column labels and you see it's broken down in another way you might want to see it like this okay it depends on what view you're interested in but but if like some things are just not pretty if I throw both of them in here it's just not pretty but the cool things with pivot table is you can always just grab what you need and move it around okay so let's keep it simple so let's say I want to get rid of type what I want to if I ever want to get rid of it I just move it off the field list let it go and it's gone okay and I can do that for all of these okay and then I could always put them back okay just grab them and pull alright so we're back to this now over here maybe I want to format this into a number comma separated number get rid of two decimal places okay so it looks a little cleaner once I'm here there's a whole bunch of field uh, pivot table options uh, design options that'll make it look better all kinds of things you can play with the core of the matter is what we worked here which was building the actual pivot table getting down to what you want in this case what I wanted was the sum of each color without having to go through this sheet and add up this yellow with this yellow with this yellow with this yellow and so on and for each color I had I could just do that in one move with a pivot table simply drag the sales to the values section here and drag color to the row labels here and one other thing you might like to know is if you right click on the pivot table itself you can go to pivot table options and here you have a host of options some of the most useful being under the totals and filters tab you can get rid of uh, the, the row uh, totals and the column totals if you don't need this grand total amount over there and you can always get it back if you like in the same way it's just a checkbox okay so that's pretty much an introduction to a pivot table I know a lot of people out there have been requesting that uh, I do an intro on pivot tables so I hope this was helpful it gives you a little uh, intuition as to what they're useful for and uh, trust me that when it comes to very complicated uh, very large data sets this the pivot table is one of the most uh, quick and efficient ways of getting down to what you need the information you need even more powerful than any of the functions that are built into Excel okay so play with this make yourself a simple little uh, example mess around with it and uh, play around with the different column and row labels and uh, try all the options here there's tons of stuff that I didn't go into and uh, get yourself a little practice in pivot tables and uh, add it to your uh, skill set. All right, I hope this was helpful. Subscribe to my channel, comment on this video, let me know of any other things you'd like me to cover in Excel, and uh, practice, practice, practice. Till next time, check out my other Excel videos too. Thanks a lot, guys.